Hey guys, today I wanted to do some fall glam. So jumping right in, I'm going to prep my face just with a moisturizer. I'm still using the pore perfecting water gel. And then I'm gonna hit my lips with my Best Damn Lip Mask followed by some primer and then we're moving right on to foundation. For my foundation day, I'm going back to the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. I love this foundation. I just got sucked into matte foundations for a hot minute. I would say that this is full coverage, but it's more of like a natural finish. Throughout the day, I do notice that I get a little dewy, but I like that. It gives the appearance of a really healthy looking skin. And sometimes I crease around like my mouth area, which I don't really like, like my smile lines. And I notice with this foundation that it doesn't happen as much as it does with a matte foundation. So I'm just going to blend this out all over the face. If you're wondering, I'm wearing the color 6.5 Buttermilk. And for my brows today, I use Benefit Cabrow in number four. Moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna use the Rust Cosmetics, Rust Cosmetics, <laughs> the Melt Cosmetics Rust Stack. And the color that I'm using first is Rubbish, and I'm just going to place this in the crease of my eye, taking it up a little high. It's just kind of our transition color. And I'm just gonna go back and forth, adding a little bit of color at a time until I build the intensity to my liking. Going in with Rust now, I'm basically gonna do the same thing, just add color till I like how it looks. And I'm keeping this color a little lower than that first color we put on. So once I built the intensity up in the shadow, I'm gonna go back in with the eyeshadow brush that we used that had rubbish on it and just continue to blend that out. If you need to add your transition color again to the top of your darker shade, it's gonna help to make everything blend a lot more smooth. So then back into the rust stack, we're picking up the darkest color, which is Rot, and I'm just gonna pack this onto my lids, building the color a little bit at a time. And for lashes today, I'm gonna to use these from House of Lashes. These are their Noir Fairies. Moving on to concealing and highlighting, I'm going to conceal with the Tarte Shape Tape. Oh guys, if you haven't tried this, it might be the best concealer ever, like ever, ever. I blend it out first with a soft blend concealer brush. I'm pretty sure this is what it's called from Sigma. And then I like to go over everything with a damp beauty blender just to make sure we're seamless. And I'm sorry that my voice is so Harsh, I lost my voice at the Vikings game. <laughs> And I shouldn't even have to show you or tell you because you know what I'm setting my under eye concealer with. If you don't, it's the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then I'm going to set my face with the Studio Fix Powder from MAC. And I always take it down onto my neck because I like everything to be the same texture as well as the same color. As you can see, I'm the same color. So going in with NARS Laguna, I'm just going to sculpt these cheekbones. And this is a Morphe 501 brush. I just love how it chisels out these cheeks. And does anybody else have this NARS Laguna? It smells so delicious. I swear I only use it because it smells so good. For blush today, I'm gonna use this guy from MAC. It is peaches. I don't know what happened to my lid. It's just gone. I don't know where it went. It is just, it's no longer with us. And I like to use this brush from Bare Minerals. It's actually like their brush that used to apply foundation, but it works so great for applying blush. I love it so much. And then we are going to spray some setting spray on the face just to bring it back to life because we just hit it with so much powder. And for highlight today, I'm gonna use this guy from Artist Couture. This is Coco Bling. I've tried some of Mac Daddy's highlighters before, but this one just like took my breath away. This is Coco Bling, like I said, I've never used this shade and it's too amazing. I think it's super intense because it's more of a pigment than like an actual powder. And I was, I was basically living for this highlight right now. Like I couldn't. So I applied some to the nose, the cheekbones, and I couldn't resist. And I just had to apply a little more because why not? I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line a little bit. I'm gonna start with the color Rubbish. Just get in there with a flat brush. And then I'm gonna go in with Rot and a fluffy brush and blend it out. And I'm pretty sure I threw rust in, in under there. I just, I didn't film it, but I know, I know it's under there. So just use all three shades underneath your lower lash line. And smoke it out.
And then lastly, our final step is lips. For this guy, I'm gonna use Pumpkin from the Kylie Lip Kits or Kylie Cosmetics. I don't even know what it's called, but it's just this nice orangey toned lip. It's a darker orange, which is perfect. I said orange. It's a darker orange, which is perfect for fall. I, I actually really loved this color. So once your lip is on, this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this fall glam. If you try it out, tag me so I can see your recreations. I love you guys and thanks for watching.